Hi, my name is Eric Lehnen and I'm a marketing consultant here at Redpath Consulting Group. And today I want to show you the new Pardot Engagement Studio, which just announced today, June 21st. If you are an existing Pardot customer, you will still have access to your old drip programs, as well as everything with the new Engagement Studio. But if you're a new Pardot customer, you will not have access to the old legacy drip programs. Instead, you will only have access to the Engagement Studio. So this product is now available for all customers. To get this activated in your org, you're going to want to click on the Get Started Now button, which will walk you through three steps to watch a video, learn about a little bit more, and then once you're ready to enable, we're going to complete the activation. So upon activating the Engagement Studio, it will activate the new part at style, which is to mirror the new lightning interface with Salesforce. So we're going to go and click OK, got it. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new engagement program. So I'm going to give it a little name and then stick it in our drip program folder. And I'm going to use a hypothetical example in this engagement program. I'm going to assume that I have a list here, this new dynamic list here, of all of my leads inside of Salesforce that are currently open and they haven't been moving yet. So I want to nurture them in a, as an additional step on top of our existing nurture program. This is to supplement that. So as you can see, it's a very visual framework here. We have a lot more options that we can segment and create more actions for our prospects. So we have a triggers such as custom redirect clicks, email link clicks, email open, file download, form, form handler, and landing page. For actions, these are all similar to what we had before in drip programs, but now we have the ability to change prospect field values. So we have access to both custom and default field values, and we can change and clear out values for those prospects that meet that criteria. And then rules. So now we're going to be checking criteria to make sure that they can pass through a specific checkpoint. So for instance, if I wanted to only pass through certain customers or leads through in the strip program, so maybe I have tier one, tier two, and tier three leads that I'm passing through my drip, I may want to segment out the different types of marketing I have for those three different groups. And I can easily do that here with prospect field value or default field values. And of course, referencing Salesforce campaigns. So checking to see if, if these prospects are in a specific campaign with a specific status, I can reference them. So I want to put together a very easy program for you just to see how it all works. So going back to my original example, we have a dynamic list of all of my open leads inside of Salesforce that haven't moved. They're in an active engagement program right now where I'm nurturing them, but I want to supplement that with an additional program so that I have one program for all of my incoming nurture leads and I have an existing one of kind of my decaying nurture leads. So this is kind of where I need to pick up and continue to nurture them in more of a long-term path. So the first thing I want to do is send them another email as a proof of life, making sure that they're still active, still there. So I'm sending out this first email and immediately after I want to check to see if they've actually opened it. I'm going to wait up to a maximum of 10 days and this is a long term drip so 10 days is perfect for this. So in those 10 days now they're going to check to see if they've opened it. If they haven't opened it, I'm going to try sending them a completely different set of content here. I'm going to send them another product overview drip email. And if they have opened it, then I'm going to send them a series of emails related to that first email that I set up. And actually, I want to set that up into another 10 day delay. and then another 10 day delay for this third email here. So I've built out two 
branches here of logic and already you can kind of see some similarities with the existing grip programs for those that are familiar with it where we would check to see if they've opened an email and we can easily branch out but where the engagement studio is powerful is now you can say I want to check additional field values on that record or if they've been involved with other things. So this allows you to go a lot further in your segmentation of a drip program. So I may not have the best use case for your particular scenario and how you would use Engagement Studio, but I just want to show you a few of the different ways where you can check to see if other criteria have been met outside of just simply opening or clicking an email. Because now we have access to say, well, I only want people to continue with this drip if they have a, let's say, uh, their source is related to an event, hypothetically. So now I can branch out from that original track and let's say I send out my th first three emails here and now I want to separate out some recent event material uh, that could be a recap of an email and maybe this whole engagement is is specific to a nurturing from an event as kind of a follow-up hey we saw that you registered last year for an event now you should register for this year so I could set up additional emails for people that we've met an event or if I can say that they're affiliated with a specific event using a Salesforce campaign that'd be a very good way of doing that and then I can just easily throw in additional emails in here the other cool thing too is I can also reference other uh, assets inside of Pardot that are not part of this program such as a custom redirect link, a file download, a form that they may have filled out in relation to signing up for an event. So th these are all very powerful things that can be used within a, an engagement program. So now you can see just how granular you can get and I don't want this to be a scare for anyone because it opens up a lot more functionality in terms of what you can do. Um, so let's grab that form on there now. So here is kind of a, a very simple uh, drip that I threw together as a hypothetical example. The other great thing behind this too is I can run a test behind it. So that was one I would say a difficult thing to track when we were dealing with drip programs because your linear pathways would get so long it was very hard to see kind of the big picture. So the nice thing with the testing part of the engagement studio is you can go step by step pretending that you're a prospect and saying whether or not you meet the criteria on certain steps to see how um, the, the prospect will progress through. So let's go ahead and say yep I open up that first email I send out those first two, and then I check to say, yep, is this person part of that event? Yep, they were originally sourced from an event. They did fill out that form, so we're gonna send out that other email, and then we're gonna end. So that's a pretty powerful thing because it actually walks you through everything, and in a way, it's a second set of eyes. So let's go ahead and end that test. So the other big thing I wanna talk about is we're just gonna start this here, and now reporting turns on. So this is really cool too, because now it's gonna show you just like before, where you had your individual steps and how many prospects have met each step. And then it will also allow you to look at kind of a breakdown of opens and clicks all within this report. So again, it's a visual cue of each step and it's gonna highlight this information through the life of the engagement program. So at each of these steps, you have all these different ways to drill down into each step of the engagement program as a visual cue. And of course, you can always turn these off and then do your CSV export if you really wanna drill down into that. So this was a pretty basic overview of the engagement studio. I hope this was an eye opener for a lot of you and hopefully get a lot of you excited for how cool this is and how much functionality is now built into it, which really gives it that true conditional branch logic that we've been waiting for with Pardot. So now we can simplify all of our crazy ideas all within a single asset rather than trying to create some workarounds. So it's an all-in-one, fully baked platform uh, for all of our drip programs. If you have any questions about the Engagement Studio, Pardot, or just general questions, feel free to reach out to us on Twitter. Our handle is at Redpath Group. Or if you prefer an email, you can send one over to info at redpathcg.com. Thanks, guys.